Nearly 50,000 workers are hitting the picket lines nationwide today. Good morning to you. I'm Corey Stark. And I'm Samantha Jones. United Auto Workers in St. Charles County walked out overnight because of their labor contract with General Motors. News Force Justin Andrews is live at the GM plant in Winsville. And Justin, people began picketing there overnight. Yeah, Corey, and right now you can see about a dozen people are standing right here outside of the entrance gate to the Wentzville plant. People are standing out here honking their horns as they drive by, and these per people standing on the side here holding signs that simply say, On Strike. This plant here in Wentzville is one of about 33 manufacturing plants in about nine states. Democratic presidential candidates are talking about this strike on social media, expressing support for the strike. President Trump tweeted on Sunday that the two sides need to get together to make a deal. Right now, it's unclear how long this strike will last nationally, but the United Auto Workers Union says GM has barely budged in months of negotiating. However, GM says it made substantial offers in good faith, including wage benefits and growing U.S. jobs. Listen to both sides here. We believe that we presented a strong offer to the UAW. Inside that offer is over $7 billion of investment in plants and new product programs that also impact 5,400 jobs new or created. With the plants all going out at the same time, I think it'll, it'll make it a lot more serious for General Motors to come to the table in good faith. All right, so this is the first national strike by the union since about a two-day walkout back in 07, but that had little um, impact on the company. I'm back at 530 with details on how this strike, this current strike, affects the people here, the workers here at GM in Wentzville. We are live in Wentzville this morning. I'm Justin Andrews, News 4.